Hospice is auctioning off original artwork by Tracy Emin and David Hockney to raise vital funds to double its capacity to provide care. St Wilfrid's Hospice in Eastbourne is auctioning the original postcards by celebrities and fundraisers without naming who is behind each one. Caroline Faraday has more. 600 postcards, all unique. The artist's identities unknown. It's the fundraising initiative of a Sussex hospice. The new hospice will double the number of people that we can look after in a year, but only 15% of our costs come from the government. It's currently three and a half million pounds a year that we have to raise. Uh, so that's a lot we have to find. And over the next two years, we need 5.3 million to be able to both complete the furnishing and fitting out of the new hospice and also running it. It's attracted some high profile support. Director Tracy Emin and David Hockney, and to my astonishment, because they get put upon all the time, that's a lovely one up there, isn't it? Um, they, they, um, they both gave things, but the point about this is, isn't, I mean, in here there is a Hockney, in there or somewhere there are two or three Tracy Emmons, which you can bid for and get at a knockdown price if nobody else, if nobody else knows it's Hockney. The bidding takes place on eBay. There's speculation to find the two here designed by Ginny Cooper. Two by Ronnie Corbett, one by the Prime Minister, as well as four by Emin and one by Hockney. I'm really impressed by it. I might have spotted a couple of the Tracy Emmons, I think so. Such a diversity of uh, subject matter that people have uh, can't wait. The clue, by the way, if you're looking for the Hockney, is that it's colour crayons and ink. I better get looking. Caroline Faraday, BBC South East Today, Eastbourne.